I have had it up to here is her own fault. There's no one to blame except for Anna. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Buckle up because your girl has had it up to here today. Like we are about to get into it. So I hope that you're ready. If you are new here and this is the first time you are seeing my face, welcome. I make weekly videos dissecting internet nonsense, so if you're into that type of thing or you like today's video, I hope that you'll consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel and make sure that you'll never miss another upload from me. Okay, where do we even start today? Because, ooh boy, it has been a rough last few weeks on the internet like i don't know how things have been for all of you but like my brain has pretty much just exploded like colleen ballinger releasing like the worst non-apology video ever i still can't believe that that happened like that this is a real video that exists on the internet uh swoop blessed us with a documentary that's two plus hours long on why colleen ballinger is like human garbage and the YouTube algorithm went ahead and reminded me how much I miss Jenna Marbles. Why? Why do you do this to me? And just as I was starting to get some enjoyment out of watching Jenna's old content because it's hilarious, just as things seemed like they were settling and getting back to normal, just as the clouds looked like they were going to clear, YouTube recommended to me Glitter and Laser's new video where she has had a meltdown while traveling. So let's get into it. So the video opens and we see Anna and she's telling us that she has procrastinated packing for a trip to Finland. She has decided instead she's going to watch reality TV, but have no worries. She's going to pull an Anna and get it done all at the last minute. So after this sort of montage of clips of her getting herself ready, we then see her awkwardly vlogging, dancing, walking through the airport. But seriously, what is this shot? Please look, look at this shot. It's around 2.12 and it looks like our flight is going to be a little bit delayed, but not too bad. Um, and it's totally okay because I have like a three hour layover. So. Like, could she not move away from this man who was on the phone? Like, is this super awkward to anyone else or just to me? Like, I literally have watched this now at least four or five times. And every time I am just baffled as to why she is vlogging so close to this man who is talking on the phone. And it just reminds me that I would be a terrible vlogger because, like, I don't get this. Like, this filming style, this thing uh, seems very awkward and embarrassing to me. And I, I don't even like taking video calls in public. So imagine talking to yourself in a camera in public. Like, no thank you. Let alone close to other human beings who are clearly annoyed by what you're doing. Absolutely not. I could not. Would not. Anyway, the first leg of her flight appears to be with American Airlines. We see them um, in some of her shots that they've helped her check her luggage. Um, and then nothing really happens from there. So that leg of the flight must have been A-OK. -okay. Like, she clearly flew without issue. I did find it weird, though, that at both of these airports, she made a point to tell us how far her walk was going to be, like, from gate to gate. Okay, so I just got a gate change. We're no longer at 23. We're now at 30, so I'm hustling to the other side of the airport. It's eight o'clock and I just landed in New York and now I'm headed all the way, like all the way to the other side of the airport to get my flight to Finland. <laughs> of course, of course, I'm at gate 35 and it's at gate five. So the furthest possible away gate, yeah. Look like I got three hours to get there. Do you see the way she emphasized both times that she had to walk all the way across the other side of the airport? Like, that's not a typical thing. <laughs> like, it was the emphasis for me on how far we had to walk because it's not that unusual to have to walk a lot when you're in an airport. 
And I told you guys, I was feeling some type of way today. I have had it up to here and it is just building. Because then she tells us this. So this is my travel nightmare, guys. Um, I did not book an extra seat for the flight to Finland like I always do because I thought there was open seats, but there actually wasn't. It was like a mirage. So I'm here, the flight is completely full and I'm really anxious about it. Which is then followed up by this. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to Finland and it's gonna be super embarrassing if I don't. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed and disappointed and I just really hate my body right now. And I never hate my body, but I really hate it right now. And I feel like I live every day trying to be as accommodating and apologetic for my body and even when I try my best I still screw up and with I don't know I don't know this doesn't helpful to anyone it's not helpful to anyone now you guys know me I am a very empathetic person. I never want to see people like this. I don't enjoy seeing people cry. I don't want people to hate themselves or hate their bodies. That's just not who I am and it's not what I stand for. And I could totally feel why Anna would feel embarrassed as this was happening. And even though I can feel empathy for her in that moment, and while I don't want her to hate herself, this clip seriously sent me over the edge this week. Like, I don't know if I just had a long week or what is going on with me, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, well, this is going on the channel and here we are. So let's work through this together because I wanna put a little bit of perspective on this and talk about why I found this so annoying. So to start, what have we seen so far? This whole video has been Anna O'Brien traveling for a brand deal to Finland. Anna O'Brien, glitter and lasers. This is not her first time flying. In fact, she was traveling so much and thought it was reducing her content on her fashion channel that she decided to start a second channel about glitter and lasers and travel. This is not her first time on a plane. This is not her first time doing a brand deal. We have seen her in Puerto Rico. We have seen her in Hawaii. We have seen her traveling everywhere in these last few months, let alone the last year. Why is she acting brand new to this? Like she has never traveled. I do not understand why she would not order herself a second seat. She's not new at this. Someone who is well versed in travel the way that Anna is knows this. You don't leave things up to fate when you're traveling. You book exactly what you need when you need it. So this whole thing that she's made a storyline out of for her channel is her own fault. There's no one to blame except for Anna. She flies frequently. She knows that she needs a second seat. She didn't order a second seat. That's an Anna problem. But the other thing I think that's frustrating me so much and making it so hard for me to feel bad for Anna is that this is her business. This is her brand. This is what she does for a living. Literally, she gets paid to do this and she has enough money to live in a gorgeous house. She shows video clips of it all the time. It's amazing. There's no way that that's a cheap house. She literally mentions in this video that she has like four or five staff people working for her, but she decided to cheap out on seats, even though she could afford to pay for two seats. And then she came on the internet to cry about that. 
can I just, can we just pause on that? Because my brain hurts, you guys. I don't want anyone to hate themselves. I'm sad that she had this moment, but God damn it. Tell me you have first world problems without telling me you have first world problems, Anna. After I watched this, I knew that I had to sit down and just film this video. Cause again, I'm sure you can tell I'm feeling some type of way. I am extremely annoyed because this woman could absolutely afford to pay for two seats and she chose not to. She actively chose not to. And then the solution to the whole thing that she published this video on is that actually the Finnish airline decided to offer her a reduced price business class seat the next day. So even better, she could have foregone purchasing two economy class seats, which she could afford by the way, and she could have just initially purchased herself a business class seat because she tells us that it's comfortable and she has room and she needs an extender, but it's only because she's missing the seatbelt by like this much. Because again, she could absolutely afford that business class ticket. She absolutely could. And I think that this bothers me because there are literally so many people out there who struggle with the basics and flying like wouldn't even be an option for them, right? Like they're struggling so badly that they couldn't even fly in the first place. And yet and still, we have these influencers who are making bad choices when they can absolutely afford to pay for their own shit and then coming online and crying for sympathy. Like I, I don't feel bad for her. I don't. As hard as it is for me to see someone cry, and like, I, again, I'm an overly empathetic person. I cannot with this. Like, this is nonsense to me. And uh, like, I had been thinking about making a video um, in regards to like fat acceptance and body positive people making a big kerfuffle about flying lately, about extra seats and whether they should pay for them or not. But I kept myself out of it because it didn't seem relevant to me like I wasn't interested in talking about it but like this this has just taken me to that point so thank you Anna thank you for that because it's going to be the catalyst for me to finally share my thoughts on this topic which has been on my mind for a little while flying sucks for everyone it's never fun I don't care if you're a size two I don't care if you're a child. I don't care if you're a six foot thin ass man who got extra leg space. It still sucks. Like it's not fun. Airlines have made the planes feel smaller and smaller. They're crowding more seats into the planes. But you have to remember why they did that. Flying is a luxury and it was so expensive. People could not do it if they weren't wealthy until these planes started being able to carry more people all at one time. Like, it's almost like people forget that when you go in a plane, you're literally in a tin can, like a magical tin can flying over the ocean. Like, it's a luxury, right? And by crowding more and more people into these planes... They were able to bring the prices down so that regular people like you and me could fly on a plane without having to take days long trip in a train, in a car. Planes became more accessible by adding more seats and therefore bringing the ticket prices down. In my opinion, if someone needs two seats on a plane, then they should pay for two seats on a plane. Like that to me just isn't rocket science. Like you should plan for that in your travels. And I understand that that can be expensive for people. But I think you have to pay for the space that you're using. If you're using two seats, if you're using a seat and a half, you have to pay for those seats. 
I know that there are airlines like Southwest who do the extra seat now and they'll reimburse you for it. They've started doing all of these different things to accommodate people and keep it affordable. And there's a small part of me where I'm like, I get it. I get it. Like that seems like a really nice policy, right? That they're giving fat people an extra airline seat for free. But my question to you is who's paying for that? Because it isn't the airlines. They're just going to offset that cost by making everyone else's tickets, including yours, for one seat more expensive. That serves literally no one. You want less seats but bigger seats on a plane? Tickets are more expensive. Serves literally no one. So again, I understand that having to purchase two seats is a barrier to travel for some folks. I do. I get it. But the truth of the matter is, is flights are going to get more expensive no matter what option we choose here. So at that point, it's still a barrier to those same people. Because the airlines aren't going to eat that. Capitalism is going to do what capitalism is going to do. And there's nothing we can do to change that. It doesn't matter how much we collectively use our voices or whatever, it's not going to work. And it's not going to benefit anyone. It's only going to get more expensive. So I don't understand, like, wanting to try to fight this fight. It's not the good fight. That Flying in a plane is a luxury. If you need two seats in the plane, then you're actually paying for luxury at that point. Get what I'm saying? And before we wrap things up today, again, because I'm feeling some type of way... I also just want to go ahead and throw this clip in here for you. It's about to be, it's about to be my first night's sleep with a CPAP. I also have a chin strap just to make sure my mouth stays closed. Uh, I feel like a monster, but uh, I haven't slept well since I was a child. And I'm curious to see if this like opens a whole new world of energy for me. Because all this video really needed the cherry on top of this cake was a freaking Nikocado avocado jump scare of a freaking cameo. Are you kidding me? Like, what is this shot? Anyway, that's all I have to say about this video today. I am just so over wealthy influencers looking for sympathy on the internet. I don't have sympathy for you. This is something you could have avoided. This is something you have the money to actively avoid. I do not feel bad for you. <laughs> you could have bought those seats and spared yourself that embarrassment and you didn't. Therefore, that is your fault and no one else's. Do you feel bad? Because you know I like hearing from you guys in the comments. So at this point, you let me know. Do you feel bad for Anna? What do you think about this airplane seat controversy? Like, should fat people have to pay for two seats? Should other airlines adopt policies like Southwest's where they allow people to get an extra seat for free? Like, they reimburse them for it? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. And you know I'll be there shortly after this video goes up. Thank you all so, so much for being here with me again this week. I will see you in the next one. Bye!